Can you pick an auger bit out of a lineup? The ASFOB will ask you to identify a tool from a picture, so pay attention to the illustrations in this chapter. If you are more of a hands-on learner, stop by your local hardware store, where you can see and handle tools to reinforce your learning. Twist bit, used for drilling wood or metal. The twist bit is the bit of choice for most drilling applications. Twist bits come in a wide variety of sizes, diameters, typically from as small as 1. 64 inch to as large as 1. 2 inch. The hole formed by a twist bit has a tapered bottom, corresponding to the shape of the bit's tip. When drilling metal you can use a center punch to make a dent in the metal, to give the drill a starting place and prevent it from wandering. Auger bit, used for boring and deep drilling. Typically used with a brace in woodworking applications, an auger bit has a self-feeding screw on its tip, which makes it easy to control when drilling deep holes. Spade bit, used in woodworking for drilling or boring larger diameter, up to 1 and 1 fourth inches, or deep holes. Spade bits operate much like a rotating chisel. Scraping away the wood in its path. Its long center point leaves a hole in the center of the workpiece. Forstner bit, used only with power drills. This bit has a circular contour, with thin, sawtooth-style blades surrounding a center spur that breaks out the chips formed while drilling. Forstner bits are especially useful for boring large holes that are cleaner than those made by spade bits. Reamer, used to enlarge or taper pre-drilled holes. Reamers have outside cutting edges. Not on the tip, that remove very small amounts of material from a drilled hole to create a very precise fit. Reamers are useful only for making a hole wider, not deeper. Reamers can be either machine-driven or hand-driven. Both fixed size and adjustable reamers are available. Tap, used in metalworking to make or repair threads on the inside of holes. Use a tap drill chart to find the correct hole size for a tap, and then look on the shank of the tap to find the diameter and thread pattern. Die, used in metalworking to create external threads on the outside of pipes or metal rods to receive, for instance, a nut. A die stock holds and turns the die during threading. The size and thread pattern are stamped on each die. Fastening tools and fasteners. Fastening tools and fasteners are used to attach objects to each other. You have to know how to distinguish among the major types of fasteners by appearance and use. Screws, nuts and bolts, nails, and rivets are all permanent fasteners that pass through the material and apply holding pressure to bind objects together. Fasteners are essentially divided into two groups, threaded and non-threaded. Threaded fasteners include screws, nuts, and bolts. Non-threaded fasteners include dowel pins, retaining rings, cotter keys, splines, washers, and rivets. Clamps and vices, which are often used to hold work pieces together while work is being done, also apply pressure to do their job, but they are removed when the work is completed and do not pass into or through the material being worked. Selecting the right fastener for the job. Deciding which type of permanent fastener to use largely depends on the sheer force of the application. In Chapter 7, Mechanical Comprehension, you learned about resistance and loads. In a construction environment, the load comprises the roof, wall, floor, or whatever you are fastening together. Shear, then, represents the stress that the load puts on the supporting structure. Typically, nails are used for high shear construction. Screws are used for low shear applications, whether construction or automotive, and bolts are used in extremely high shear applications. Most automotive applications use bolts. Measuring pitch for threaded fasteners. Before we get into the discussion on screws and bolts, you need to know about how they are threaded. Although threaded fasteners have any of several types of threads, you cannot use one thread type with another thread type. Nuts and bolts are available with either English or metric threads. English system fasteners have either coarse, NC, or fine, NF, thread types. Coarse threads have fewer threads per inch than fine threads and are suitable for use with soft materials because they provide greater holding strength. Fine threads are better for harder materials, such as cast iron and steel, because they provide greater staying action and torque. Metric threads show pitch size on the fastener with a designation, such as M12 times 1.75. M12 times 1.75 is 
M shows that the fastener has metric threads, the first number is the outside diameter, in millimeters. Of a bolt, screw, or stud, or the inside diameter of a nut, the second number is the pitch. The larger the pitch number, the greater the spacing between the threads. If the pitch is not marked on the fastener, you can use a pitch gauge to determine the pitch. A pitch gauge has blades with teeth and the pitch size stamped on each blade. By matching the teeth on a blade with threads on a fastener, you can determine thread size. Both metric and English pitch gauges are available. In addition to size, pitch, and type, you must know fastener grades. Bolts and screws have differing tensile strength according to their application. You should always use replacement fasteners that are of the same grade as the originals. You will find grade markings on the head of a bolt, which are as follows. Grade 1 bolts have no markings and are not very strong. Grade 5 bolts have three marks and are much stronger than grade 1 bolts. Grade 8 bolts are the strongest bolts for automotive use and have six marks on the head. For metric fasteners, the higher the number, the stronger the fastener is. Typical metric bolt strength numbers are 9.8 and 10.9. Nuts are not always marked for quality, but when they are marked, English nuts use dots to represent grade markings, and metric nuts use numbers to represent strength. The marks carry the same significance as the marks on a bolt. Screwdrivers and Screws Screws are threaded fasteners that provide strong holding power and have the advantage of being removable for easy disassembly. Screws are generally used when the shear force is minimal, such as for securing horizontal or low vibration surfaces. In high shear applications, screws will break off. Screws are inserted using a screwdriver or a drill fitted with a screw bit that is twisted to provide the necessary torque, rotating force. Screwdrivers come with different types of heads that correspond to the various types of screws, the most common of which are Phillips, slotted, also called flat or common, and Allen, or hex. Phillips head screws have the added advantage over slotted head screws of allowing a snugger fit with their driver to minimize slipping and make it possible to generate greater torque. Figure 8.9 shows several common types of screws. 1. Slotted 2. To turn these screws, you need a correspondingly shaped screwdriver. Figure 8.10 gives an example of two screwdrivers. Common screwdrivers drive screws that have a straight slot in the top. When you use a common screwdriver, choose a screwdriver with a blade that fits snugly into the slot so that you don't damage the screw head. Phillips screwdrivers drive screws that have an X-shaped indentation on the head. The blades number from 0, the smallest, to 6, the largest. Nut drivers are part screwdriver and part wrench. A nut driver has a handle and shank like a screwdriver, but in place of a blade, it has a driver that accommodates small sockets, refer to the discussion on socket wrenches, or interchangeable bits. Not